Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google is basically trying to do a ton of stuff, and they keep launching checkpoints, and to be honest, at this point, I'm fed up. They might as well just launch it. I'm really fed up. But they apparently launched another ECPT checkpoint, which is a new version of the Gemini 3.0 Pro, and there's a ton of hype. Some are saying it can make windows and whatnot, I don't actually care about it, and I wasn't going to test it either, but I got so many comments asking me to test the new checkpoint on my videos that I had to check it out. And let's just say that I'm a bit disappointed if this turns out to be the final checkpoint. This checkpoint seems a bit nerfed compared to the other ones, or this might be a lower thinking variant or something, because it doesn't perform as well as the previous checkpoints that I've seen. I'm getting flashbacks of the Zenith checkpoint of GPT-5, which was way better than GPT-5, but apparently never saw the light of day. So yeah, let me show you what it is and how it's working. To start, let's talk about the floor plan, and well, it's not good at all. It's very mediocre, if not bad, and it's very bland. The rooms are not correctly aligned, and not even close to what we saw with the previous checkpoints, and it's not great. Then, there's the SVG Panda, and it's also not like the previous version. This one doesn't seem as good or polished. The burger is pretty good, but the panda around it is not as great. The Pokeball with 3JS is pretty great, similar to what we've seen before, but not as great as the previous checkpoints. Like, the background and stuff is not as great either. Then, we've got the chessboard. And well, this is not very great either. It works. But as you can see, most of the moves here are pretty dumb. It doesn't capture well. And it's not as great as the previous checkpoint. I don't really get why this checkpoint is being hyped so much when it's actually worse. For example, one of the dumbest things I'm seeing on Twitter is it making a web OS? And for context, this is what Sonnet makes in one shot when I hit it up with Kilo code. And well, just look. It's as good as Gemini's generation being scattered around. And if you believe that's true, that's fine. Because I don't even get that kind of response with this checkpoint. But even if some people are getting it, it's not anything extraordinary. The reason I don't have such prompts in my benchmarks is because they're relatively easy. I mostly have three JS related questions because it's hard to do mathematics for placing objects in 3D space. But these ones are not dealing with 3D space. It's mostly just elements with flexible divs and nothing more. I see these prompts of like one HTML file with basic CSS and I just laugh. This also has a Python interpreter and an Easter egg snake game, for those who care. And this was all built in one prompt with Sonnet. This is not a correct way to test the model, and please don't be hyped, or think a model is good based on such silly prompts. Like, it's the silliest thing I've seen in a while. It makes sense though, because most of the dumb non-programmers are posting dumb and silly things like that. Anyway, moving forward, we get the Minecraft game using 3JS, and well, it's also not extraordinary. It works, but it's a bit laggy, it doesn't have much lighting, volumetrics are not great, and stuff like that. So yeah, not as great as the previous checkpoints. Then, we've got the butterfly flying in the garden, and it's fine. Not very good, and not very bad either. So this is okay but also not as great as the previous checkpoints. Then, we've got the Blender script for the Pokeball, and this one's okay too. The previous ones used to have lighting and stuff, but this one doesn't have that. Obviously, not as great, but still, the dimensions and everything are good. Then, we've got the Pentagon question, and it passes all these general questions, which is pretty great. I think this is similar but worse, because it seems to be quantized 
to be deployed to general audiences, or maybe there are some safety settings, or this might just be a low thinking or reasoning variant. I'm obviously not sure. But yeah, it is better than Sonnet. But it doesn't seem to be the new 3.5 Sonnet moment anymore, if this is the model that it turns out to be. It's still a great model and everything, but yeah, not the best. This might be Flash. Who knows? But yeah, I just wanted to talk about how these web OS things are just a gimmick. Even Sonnet can do it in one prompt, and it's not something exclusive to Gemini 3. It's something that GPT-5, Claude, and almost every other model can do in one prompt. So yeah, this checkpoint is not as great. It's a pretty nerfed checkpoint. Let's see what happens, and whether we'll see the previous checkpoints as well or not. Maybe this is a checkpoint of something like Flash or something. So, let's see how it goes. A web OS is not a good example of these models' capabilities, so keep that in mind. And the release should be pretty near, as VO 3.1 is launching today. And then other models will also come pretty soon. So, there's that. I was seeing a lot of talk about this, and I thought I'd check this checkpoint out as well, to see how well it works. And many of you were asking for it, and that's why I thought to talk about this. This checkpoint, an unnecessary hype, makes me less reliable on the model launch, but we'll see what happens and how it turns out to be because the recent models hasn't been great, and let's see how well it works. Just to be very clear, the model is still really good. It's just that the model is a bit nerfed compared to the previous checkpoints, which is making me a bit skeptical, and the model's response is sometimes buggy as well. Like, one time when I asked it to make me the floor plan, then it gave me a GitHub URL, which was like a non-existing link. So, yeah, it seemed a bit glitchy as well, which is making me a bit skeptical, but still it's great, and I hope their rollout goes fine, and I hope that we also get not nerfed variants as well to try out. That is majorly about it. I am afraid... And I hope that this doesn't become a launch like the GPT-5-1. That's majorly about it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.